So here I am still at Bang San Beach and I'm riding down the road on my motorbike and I discovered this young fella, but he has a few friends. In fact, he has a lot of friends. <laughs> you want to see them? <laughs> oh my God. Let me just push my video up so I can somehow capture these, these his friends. Have a look at this. And there's our tiger. I'm pretty sure we're talking about a tiger here. So I'm now entering into the uh, into the mouth of the tiger. So what the cup, everybody? I've got the Versi 650 out. So that means that I'm going on a road trip. Haven't actually worked out where I'm going, but I'm thinking down the coast towards the beach. I need to see the sea. I need to see the sea. I feel the need, the need for speed. <laughs> So the Kiha BTS station is just here. I think it's the second last station along the southeastern line. And as I'm here talking to you, I've just noticed Bumblebee has arrived in Kiha. Check this out. Woo. He's following me around. He was actually up at the uh, temple a few weeks ago. Yeah, so I've just pulled off the, the main road here and uh, come across this little bridge parked just over here and there's a little market to, like there is everywhere in Thailand there's a little sort of market area and a little bustling street here so I'll just have a quick look around and uh, jump on the bike and I'm going to go and find uh, a pier, a jetty that actually pretty well lines up with the Sawanapu airport we might be able to see a uh, plane land over the top of us. Oh, there we are. <laughs> up, Paul. This guy, this guy is making really healthy oh, food. Oh. It's called Morning Glory, and uh, he has pork. He has pork in there. Yeah, he looks like he really knows how to handle himself here. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> so he's just going to do. He's just going to do the taste test. So I think my future wife just walked past me, but she just didn't realise. <laughs> She was a very beautiful young woman. Uh, anyway, sorry, I, I got distracted just for a moment. But my mission will be completed. I promise you that. It's just that I, she was beautifully dressed. She was stunningly beautiful in the face and she had amazing eyes. That's all I looked at was the eyes. So I'm on the end of the jetty here with the uh, the local boys. It's like about 11 o'clock in the morning, and uh, they're having a few beers and eating a few prawns. <laughs> Why not? I suppose. Do I have any better suggestions? Not really. So you can see this lady here on her hands and knees, literally digging for clams. She's working her ass off. I don't know whether you can see that aeroplane up there, but they're few and far between. That's a flight taking off from Sawanapu. I was kind of hoping the wind was going the other direction so I could pick up them landing over the top of us. The plan now is to jump on the bike, ride down the jetty, and head towards Chonburi. Let's see what we can discover for the rest of the day. So I'm just riding uh, away from the jetty now through this little community, heading back towards the main road number three. So here's the boys delivering a truckload of beer. 
Beer. Looks like my type of uh, operation. G'day mate. Here I am at the temple and we've got the uh, the bells here. The bells ain't ringing, but uh, it's great just to get out here and, and feel the spiritual vibes of Thailand. They're very, very spiritual people and uh, non-judgmental and extremely peaceful. Except if you upset someone in traffic, you're gone. <laughs> so these bells just go on forever. They're um, solid iron bells and uh, there's just probably a couple of hundred of them just around this temple so I'll stand corrected based on the color fading here I'm, I'm thinking these bells are actually made out of copper this is a pretty impressive doorway the entrance into this temple so I guess everyone's got to have some lunch. <laughs> so just another beautifully respected place. Uh, these temples really are a highlight of the Thai culture. It kind of makes you just grab your thoughts, gather your thoughts and just think some positive stuff when you come to these places. Now entering into the uh, into the mouth of the tiger. Let's see what's uh, let's see what's going on inside his uh, tummy here. Uh, oh, this is this is so impressive. This, this building. Uh, everyone is welcome uh, in these temples. The Thai people are not racist in terms of religion at all. So you were never made to feel unwelcome here. In fact, the monks were waving me in. So this is the, uh, the the other side of the temple, the tiger temple, and uh, you can see they've got another tiger here, protecting the spiritual place and protecting the monk. Just on the side of the road. Highway number three, and we're just checking out these dried fish. How much per kilo? Uh, 100, 100 bar per kilo. One kilo. One kilo, yeah. So this is a little fish farm, and you can see the workers at the back. They didn't want me to go in there and take photos, so I'll just take it from the road. So this Buddha is huge <laughs> and he seems to be carrying an umbrella and some sort of food pot so just to demonstrate how big he is i'm going to go and stand underneath him to give you a perspective <laughs> Just a very quick stop at uh, Cafe on Saffin, which is on the coastal bridge near Chonberry. And uh, it's a very pleasant little spot here. And then there's this amazing road that's built over the Gulf of Thailand. It goes for about four or five kilometers, which will, I've taken a bit of footage. Uh, you can see how that works. But this cafe is really cool. It's uh, got lots of different areas. But I'm just sitting back on a nice, Hello, and I'm probably just going to have a little bit of a nap here because um, it's pretty steamy. 
and uh, I'm feeling a little bit on the uh, sweaty side, so I just want to relax in the shade here and uh, just take in the ambience of the Gulf of Thailand and see whether I can spot a crab or two. <laughs> so we're still on uh, Route 84 Bridgeway and you can sort of see how far it goes like uh, if I just point this is actually the road along here as well right down to this point so it's, it's a long way and right here this little fishing boats are stranded because clearly it's uh, it's low tide right so you can see the boats are just basically sitting here waiting for the tide to change but uh, what I find really interesting is is out here out here there's a little shacks been built so I'm guessing the fishermen will sit in these little shacks during the day or night time yeah so she's low tide <laughs> these boats are pretty well stuck on the sandbank here one two three come on I'm not exactly sure what happened to social distancing in Chonbury, but uh, this place is crazy busy. It's called the Fish Crab Market, and uh, it's, it's just out of control here, to be honest. Um, there's every variety of seafood, and every person, I think, in Chonbury down here to buy it. So it's an experience. I think these were the clams that the ladies were catching down. Suckers are still pretty lively. Might have just been a fresh batch to come in. Come on, come on. So welcome to uh, Bang Sang Beach. And this is actually very close to Pattaya, but it's predominantly a Thai beach. So Unlike Pattaya, which is full of Russians, Indians, and Chinese, this beach predominantly has Thai people. So it's, in my view, a better place to come. Uh, there's more Thai culture here. And generally, it's, a, it's just a nicer experience. Now, last time I was here, there wasn't a square inch <laughs> on the beach. But at the moment, as you can see, the, it, the beach is still closed. But I had to come and show you, and I wanted to see the beach, what it looks like when there's actually no one here, and it's amazing. Oh wow, I just, this is why I got up this morning now. I know, I left Sukhumvit, Soy Ten, Venio this morning, and all I wanted to do was see the beach, and I'm, I am not disappointed. Yeah, so it's open Monday, but I think next weekend definitely back. <clears throat> but it was supposed to be raining, but it's ended up being the most beautiful afternoon. So this Buddha clearly is the Buddha of the Rooster? <laughs> I'm bloody scared. These things are freaky. To the king and queen over this side. Yep. So a shout out to my mother. I think she'd like this. This is kind of uh, crazy. <laughs> So it's now uh, about 6 p.m. I mean, how, how beautiful the afternoon look? It doesn't get any better than that, does it? So I just had to laugh at this photo because 
old mate over here, he can sit on the beach, but I can't go on the beach. Look at this. I will get put in jail, but the dog can just, he's got the beach to himself. So we can walk along here, as many people as you like, but we can't go onto the beach for some reason. Anyway, not, not a criticism, but um, yes, there's a lot of people out. It's such a beautiful afternoon, Saturday afternoon. A lot of the young people are dressed up, all ready for their big night. I'm just taking a lovely walk along the beach. I'm going to enjoy watching this sunset. Let me just turn my camera around and show you what I'm looking at. Well, that concludes our exciting adventure from Bangkok to Bang San Beach. I hope you enjoyed the video. So please leave your comments about future content suggestions and how I can improve my videos. Your feedback would be much appreciated. If you like the content, keep watching. If you didn't like it, just watch something else. <laughs> Thank you. See you next time. Bye.